Good afternoon. Look who pop on here. Those of you who don't know who I am, Dr. Maisha, you should know. <laughs> You're following me. <laughs> um, I wanted to... So, as I was saying, I've had a few people uh, ask me, what is mind remapping? What is that? I talk about it a lot. Uh, you've seen in my hashtags. You've probably seen the mind metaphysician in my hashtags. And I wanted to really come on and explain what I mean when I talk about mind remapping. I have the Mind Remapping Academy. Um, I've um, launched the Mind Remapping Nation. And people are wondering what what is the what is mind remapping exactly? Um, and so when I talk about mind remapping, I talk about a, I'm talking about a process that is an is of reprogramming our minds at the root cause at the unconscious level to be at its most empowering state right i talk i'm talking about getting at the source of our thinking feeling and actions and what i do is based in NLP. That's neuro linguistic programming. So some of you may have heard of NLP. Um, some of you may not. And so, what is NLP? And NLP is short for neuro linguistic programming. For those of you who don't know, um, neuro linguistic programming is a set of. It's a methodology. It's a set of processes and tools, and it's a way to supercharge the mind and and nourish the mindset. All right. So when I talk about what NLP is or when you think about um, the way our mind works, the way we think, there's always something underneath that. There's always something behind that. And it's important that to know that the unconscious mind is what runs our body. It's what runs our, our, our everyday actions and decisions. And a lot of times we're walking around thinking that we're in total control of our actions. But what's really in control are all of those um, little conversations, thoughts, and things that we don't even realize that um, have um, that we've picked up over the years. And a lot of these things have come from way back in our lives. These things have come from childhood and it's our past experiences that cause us to make these unconscious decisions in our lives. And then we, as we live our lives, begin to pile on various um, evidence you know, the mind, when the mind focuses on one thing, the reticular activating system begins to want to find the, the stuff that's like that. So we, we focus on this thing that happens, this event that happens that causes us to believe a specific thing. And then we begin to pile evidence in our experience of all of the thoughts, um, of all of the things that that thought or that belief should be true when it's really not. It's just something that we decided. It's something that we decided. So what NLP does is help us get to the root cause of those old conversations, right? Those old conversations so that we can eliminate them. We can eliminate them at the root cause and then we can be free to make decisions in the moment. We can be free to be at the source of our lives, like really truly at the source of our minds, our thinking, our behavior, and really have more power and freedom in our lives. So that's the, the crux of what NLP is. And a lot of times people will get coaches. I'm a coach, right? So I coach a lot of people in this technology. People will get coaches, they'll do affirmations, they'll um, go to therapists. And I think all of those are really great tools, but there's the difference between learning how to fish and being given a fish, right? And that's not to say that coaches don't teach tools and that therapists don't teach tools, don't get me wrong. But when you learn the tools of NLP, then you, you actually learn a different language. You learn a different language of the unconscious mind. And then you can begin to empower yourself. And then when you go to places like coaches or when you get therapists, it actually be, makes them even more effective because you have a new and a different awareness of yourself and you're connected. Your conscious mind becomes connected with all of those unconscious 
things that were hidden before. All right. That makes sense. Type in the comments that it makes sense. All right. So that is one of the things that I teach. Now, what are some other things that NLP is good for? Because I think that, you know, people really put NLP in a box sometimes. NLP is really great uh, for empowering relationships because it gives you a new way to listen as well as a new way to communicate. It helps, helps you to understand the why you do the things you do, what's underneath, like the root cause, what's underneath what you, what, the things that you do, right? NLP helps you to really get to the root of um, other people's thoughts and beliefs. So instead of when you listen to other people, sometimes we listen to the words and we make the words mean something that they don't. But when you learn NLP, you actually learn how to listen behind the words, how to watch the body language, how to really interpret a little deeper, uh, deeper meaning of what people are saying by the words that they're using, not by mind reading, but by listening very intently to the words that they're using so that you can understand the intention behind the behavior. Okay, so in that way, it empowers you in relationships, um, in your career, in work. If you have your own business, um, it empowers you with clients and it can really, really improve your sales because it can help you to really hear objections before they arise. You can manage those and you can really speak in a way that lowers resistance and creates that instant rapport with people so that they really want to hear what you have to say and they really want to be in your world because you're getting in their world, right? That's the power of NLP, okay? What else does NLP teach you? It teaches you the conscious use of language because you understand what the unconscious mind does and does not process you come to understand how to use your words intentionally, how to use your words effectively in conversation, but let's face it, for yourself as well. Because guess what? Some of the most damaging conversations that we have are with ourselves, right? Type in the chat box if you know this is true. And so these are some of the most damaging conversations to ourselves, but it also teaches you how to intentionally use your conversation assertively, um, inspiringly, I know I just made that word up, uh, intriguingly and persuasively so that the people in your life can hear you, but they want to hear you because the way you speak actually creates that attractiveness. That's right, build yourself up. That's exactly right. So these are all the reasons that I, I have learned NLP, but I also now train other people in NLP. This, these are the reasons why I started the Mind Remapping Academy. And specifically, um, I started it because I feel like our community, our community um, needs to needs that that empowerment more than ever in this time where things are so uncertain where things are so chaotic where there's so much um injustice it, it can lead to a, a feeling or a sense of, of of hopelessness of helplessness of of um powerlessness right but the truth is we do have the ultimate power Okay, and that power lies in right up here, our minds. That power, my, yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. That power is right up here, thank you. Um, that power is right here in our minds, you know? And so um, that's why I feel like for our community, it's very important that we begin to transcend the normal conversations um, and really deep dive ourselves into personal development. And this is one way to do it. I'm a big fan of teaching people how to fish. It's all I've done my entire career as a physician, even from when I was practicing integrative medicine as a clinician. I'm a um, fanatic about having people understand themselves so that they can empower themselves and to create communities, which is why I started the Mind Remapping Nation, to create communities of people 
who are steeped in that personal development so that we can one by one, two by two, four by four, multiply, teach each other, empower each other, and create an entirely new conversation, not only for the community, for our children, but for the, the generations to come, right? Because if we are going to transform our community, then we have to first start with ourselves. We have to start with ourselves. So I thank you all for joining and I in, encourage and invite and empower you to join the Mind Remapping Nation. And if you really think that you want to learn more about um, the NLP and, and learning the technology, then I invite you to you know book a call with me and we can talk a little bit more about what the training entails and uh, coming soon you'll be able to uh, just go ahead and register and fill out an application uh, to join our next training coming up in the winter but for now i'd love to have you in the mind remapping nation join the community because it's so important that we come together so that we can empower each other so that we can create real transformation and that starts at the individual level and then goes beyond. So you guys have a wonderful day today and a wonderful rest of your week and weekend. Stay safe out there. And yes, please pass the word along because we wanna grow this community. We wanna multiply this community. And um, I love you all, all right? I'll take, you guys take care and I'll see you on the next live.